new tonight. Onslow County residents remember a three year old girl some spent days trying to find. It's been more than a week since family members reported Mariah Woods missing. Investigators say they recovered a body believed to be the toddler days later. Autopsy results are still pending. As the community waits for more answers, Mariah remains on their minds. WNCT's Brandon Truitt takes us to a memorial growing by the hour near her home. Through the power of song and prayer, a community is coming together tonight. Just over a week after this all started, a community is still wondering how this happened to a sweet little girl. I'm precious Candles lit. A community standing shoulder to shoulder. People of all ages coming to pay their respects to young Mariah. Why did it have to be her? Why can't it be nobody? Dozens attended the vigil at a memorial set up off Dawson Cabin Road, near where the three-year-old lived. For many, the fact Mariah was so young makes it harder to understand. As a community, we're strong. We come together no matter how it does, but when it concerns a child, that's where it ends. Some lead songs while others choose to speak, like Carol Peebles. So many people have taken this little girl in. People says she felt called to speak, saying Mariah belonged to everyone. When little Mariah came up missing and people went out searching for her, and when we found out what had happened to her, uh, it's like your own child. The tone was somber and hearts were heavy, but weighing on everyone's mind was the confusion of how this could happen. It's unbelievable to like to see something like this. How in the God's name if this baby's that precious to you? Do you allow someone to, to hurt your baby? I don't understand. Through messages of hope and hundreds of teddy bears, this community is remembering Mariah as one of their own. Fly high and then just need justice to be done for what has happened to her. People continue to come and place items at this memorial through the night. Now a public visitation will be held on Wednesday from 4 to 6 at the Jones Funeral Home in Jacksonville. In Onslow County, Brandon Truitt, not on your side.